I had not been so closely associated with the Arsenal, I would have been deeply conscious of the great loss the game of football has sustained by the passing of Herbert Chapman. I have known him for 25 years. Since 1925, when he came to Highbury from Huddersfield, I have come to know him intimately. Those of you who knew him only for his record as a successful manager cannot realize the dynamic personality of a man who would have fought through to success no matter what might have been his chosen calling. At Highbury, the whole of the playing staff and the ground staff called him the bus. It was in every sense a term of affection, a sincere tribute of admiration for a leader and a friend, not a mere title for a master. Herbert Chapman was a genius. He knew football inside out. He was the friend and confidant of the highest and the most humble in the game. When I was in doubt, I turned to him for advice. His fellow club managers, other club directors and players did the same. Legislators sought his counsel. He was the man to whom we always looked for guidance, the master mind who always left us feeling supremely confident that no obstacle was too great for him to surmount, no problem too complicated for him to solve, no cloud too black for him to find the silver lining. Words fail me in trying to express my sympathy with his sorrowing widow and family in this hour of their greatest bereavement. A loving husband and a devoted father has passed away. May the tributes to his memory, which have come from all parts of the British Isles and the continent, do something to comfort them in this, their dark hour.